Hi, your key super session yesterday up at the range. Just to recap on the session that we did. Previous session we worked on the left knee position on the way back, uh, stabilizing that, getting it moving more towards the baseline. Uh, as we see here on the left with Charlie Wee, you've done a pretty good job of doing that, and the upper top, uh, the upper centre during the backswing is much more stable as a result. We can see here on the top right at the start of your session, the takeaway tends to get rolled a little bit too much behind you and the club face is opening severely to the arc by the time you get to P2. So rolled inside, rolled open and then as you get to the top then the right elbow just lifts a little bit too much, the club face is a fraction too open and then we've got to really work hard to square that club up and you can see as you're coming into impact at P6 the club face very very open to the arc and the left wrist a little bit cut from there you've got the devil's own task of squaring that club face up coming into impact so in an attempt to do that we stand up we come out of our inclination and we try to flash at it with the hands. You can see the club face releasing over quite dramatically at that point. So yesterday's lesson was all about getting this club face a little bit squarer to the arc of your swing throughout. And what we're going to do is instead of trying to put that in there at 90 miles an hour on the downswing, we're going to try and introduce that a little bit more on the way back. So the feeling that you have is that the back of the glove is pointing down to the ground at P2. Another way of framing that is that you keep the, hat, the club face pointing at the target for longer. But you can see there now that P2, toe of the club, is much squarer to the arc of the swing. These are only little swings, granted. We've seen a little bit more of the club face at that point, a little bit less open. As you know, coming into P6, the club face is a fraction squarer than it was before. It's still a little bit too toe up at that point, but it's better than it was. And the left wrist has started to flatten out a little bit more. Ideally, we'd want to see a little bit more palmer flexion at that point, so a little bit more bowing of the left wrist at P6 would just bring the toe end down and make it easier for you to start this ball off online. But you can see now as you're coming in a little bit less underneath it, lots, a lot less open coming into the hitting area. Just play this back. Club face here. Pointing way to the right. Club face here. Pointing much squarer. Much less rotation on the way through. As opposed to this swing. Where we're standing up. Throwing the arms away from us. And we're getting a lot more travel on the club face as opposed to what we see here. Quieter hands, straighter shots. Still drawing, still high, but a little bit more under control and less likely to lose that ball a long way to the right. Great session. The other thing we talked about, just to clarify, was the movement of the left knee in the downswing. We can see Charlie Wee here at the top of his backswing at P4. Left knee working out towards the target line as per your previous session. What's going to happen now is from P4 to P5 or P5.5, the left knee is going to move a couple of inches outside the left ankle. That's allowing the hips to slide forward. We'll just play that back. So left knee moves forward, bringing the hips forward, which immediately puts in there. So by the time we get to P, we've got some nice tilt here, away from the target, that's going to allow us to launch that ball higher and also continue to hit out at the golf ball. What we've got to do now is gradually straighten that left leg up to bring the driver out of its descent from P6 to P7. But you can see again there that that left knee 
has still moved fractionally out. So the left knee is gradually moving out from P4 to P6 and then a little bit further into P7 as it straightens into the through swing. Good luck with it. Look forward to working with you again in a couple of weeks' time. Well done.